Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. Today we're going to talk about swing auger maintenance. Uh, probably one of the more neglected units on the farm. Uh, typically everybody depends on them quite, quite hard at harvest time and then it's kind of just left to its own devices. Um, so we're just going to go quickly over what you should look at to maintain your, your swing auger. So we'll start with the hopper here. Um, be right below right below and behind me here are the chains for the hopper drive normally when we see a used auger come in those chains are completely worn out or very close to worn out and the sprockets are sharp so that would be a good place to start pull those covers off have a look uh, replace those chains if necessary sprockets if necessary it's not expensive stuff um, and then you get into where where you start looking at the bearings. Um, the bearings on, on the lead end, of course, are sealed ball bearings. On the other end are, are bushings, mostly brass bushings, some plastic ones. They require a lot of grease. They should be greased at least once a day. Uh, that, that's pretty high wear stuff because there's a lot of dirt with the grain and it's pretty abrasive. The augers are not cheap to replace. The bushings are cheap, so give them lots of grease. Grease is cheap. The next place that you want to look is the U-joints that move you into that transition flighting. The transition flighting is probably the highest wear thing on the whole machine. Make sure you have a look at that. It's not expensive to replace. Um, and that's where your bottleneck comes from and your your auger ends up losing a lot of capacity right in that area. We'll show you a picture of it in between my babbling. Um, then look at the auger going up into the swing and most importantly, the oil level in the two gearboxes. We sell a lot of gearboxes that have either run out of oil or the oil's gotten really, really old in them and it's full of filings and it takes the bearings out and then you end up with expensive expensive maintenance at harvest time when you're really depending on that rig to to keep your combines going so while you're up at the front of the auger and you're checking the gearboxes up there we want you to check that chain underneath the front cover and check your bearings there as well you want to check the bearing up at the top of the auger um, if nothing else give it a couple of shots of grease but make sure that it's that it's not rough um, and last thing, go into the winch, pull this cover off and have a look in there um, just to see that the gears and the bushings on the winch are okay. You'd be amazed at the number of winch failures that we have. And it, it's one of those things that it's really a bugger when you're trying to combine and a uh, $200 winch fails on you and you've got a half a million dollars in a combine and some support equipment that's stopped because the grain auger is stopped. So have a look there as well. Um, anything else that you find that you have questions about, feel free to give us a call. Um, the guys are always willing to chat. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.